this time is different, or is this time different as we come from a different angle, the God angle or the blowjob angle. And <laughs> as we get into this one, uh, I do want to preface this whole conversation by saying whenever we talk about, you know, this time being different and all that good stuff, I do want to be backing it up with, you know, very hard data and analysis. So um, very, very hard data and analysis, just great. Just going to make a meme out of this whole damn thing. Um, but, uh, but, you know, without further ado, I do want to get into this one and, um, and show that there are actually some very interesting things that are on the verge of changing for the first time since the inception of Bitcoin. Um, so perhaps perhaps this time is different. Those words are, of course, sacrilege. But um, but let's just get into it right here, and I'll let you, you be the judge of it, and I'll remove any, um, any of my own opinions. All right, so first things first, I wanted to um, map out all of the prior times that Bitcoin has had a halving, of course, represented by these green vertical bars. And there have been three in the past, so not a whole hell of a lot, as always. I think that's a good counterpoint to any sort of analysis with the, with um, you know uh, regarding that, the halving. But for the past halvings, there have been you know a lot of similarities. Uh, very, I mean, very um, uh, I would say convincing similarities. And um, and one of them would be that the rally that typically happens before the halving, which has happened every time, by the way, um, has typically reached about. It's typically gotten about 70% off of the prior all-time high for Bitcoin. As you can see right here, November of, uh, of 2012, this one from closure to high, about 64.5%. This one over here from closure to high, about 68%. This one over here, closure to high. I'm not actually doing this like super perfectly, but let's actually get this a little bit better. 83%. Let's do this one over here, a little bit more. 82%. And this one over here, this one actually going to be a little bit less. Um, about 55, 56%. Anyways, the reason why I bring this up right now is because thus far, Bitcoin has had a pretty impressive rally. And if you compare it versus its prior all-time high, it is about 30-ish percent off of those highs, um, which I would say is a drastic change from the past um, from the past rallies. So that would be the first sort of thing that is indicative that, okay, something new kind of is going on here. Um, and this is also with about two months left to go until the actual having, of course, as well. So, you know, I mean, with the way things are looking right here, I wouldn't be surprised if Bitcoin tried maybe even a little bit higher, uh, maybe not that much higher, but, but a little bit higher, certainly possible, um, as we've gone over, uh, maybe not in the short term, but in the more medium to long term. Um, of course, if we go over here, another thing that has also changed thus far, I mean, it's not fully confirmed just yet, of course, but if we go over the past having dates yet again, We've seen that after that high has been hit um, in all past halving dates, Bitcoin has come down to one of the major fibs, uh, the 236 here on a linear scale, I should add as well. And, uh, and we've seen the same thing the whole damn time, actually. Bitcoin rallies up to somewhere between the 50% the level and the 618 fib um, and then comes down usually quite soon after that to the 236. And that is like the base before never going lower ever again, actually. Um, so you see the first example right here. See the second example right here. Again, rallies just right between the 50% level and the 618, then comes down, just kisses the 236, and then upwards and onwards from there. Again, never to revisit it thus far. Um, of course, history is, you know, always ongoing. So who knows? I mean, what happens uh, in like 50 years from now? But, um, but so far, so good. And, uh, and again, in the most recent cycle right here, you know, a rally all the way up to the 618. So this one got a little bit more um, compared to the other ones, but ultimately settled between the 50% and the 618, and then comes down uh, in the next year, somewhere around the 236, and then rallies upwards and onwards, never to be tested, you know, so far. And well, thus far, Bitcoin um, has not just rallied up to the 618, it's rallied above the 618, which has actually never happened in the past, by the way. And with two months left to go, I mean, it's definitely possible that we could see a flash crash 100%. I mean, that's always possible, right? But to put in perspective, the 236 as of right now is actually just below 28,000 bucks. So to put that into more perspective, perhaps if you were to take where Bitcoin is at right now to where that level is, that would be a nearly 50% decrease. Black swans happen, of course, crazy things happen, no doubt about that. But again, with two months left to go, I mean, time is ticking, and um, it looks like this is yet another thing that could very easily be uh, negated as well, thus suggesting at least that's different. 
Um, so, I, well, a couple things here again: the Fib analysis, uh, both the high and the low, both the high and the low there. So. Um, anyways, I just thought that that was kind of an interesting thing to maybe be bringing up. I actually woke up in the middle of the night about this because here in Dubai, uh, I'll let you know at 5.30 fucking a.m., okay, 5.30 fucking a.m., uh, we live right next to a mosque, and, and on the loudspeakers, it goes blaring some sort of prayer stuff. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe that's offensive. I'm not trying to be offensive. I don't know what it is because I'm not Muslim myself. I just, uh, I just, I just listen to their prayers. So I guess it <laughs> makes me more Muslim, I guess, than it does uh, Christian or anything else, right? Because I mean, I haven't been in a fucking church in a long time, or, nor any sort of uh, religious institution. Um, so <laughs> this is like the closest. Anyways, uh, yeah, my, my point again, you know, we have three, four ish type things changing right there. One of them certainly already confirmed, actually, two of them certainly already confirmed, um, both the percentage away from high and, uh, and you know, getting up, uh, rat rallying even above um, the highest that we've ever seen ever. Uh, right here, um, and then a couple others uh, on the verge of being confirmed. Again, just going to be a waiting game between now and um, what is, when is it? Uh, April. April is a halving. It's actually not May right here. I do have that wrong. It's April. There we go. So I'll just save that, and it'll just be something to kind of reference. So again, I don't want to put my like verbal opinion on this. This is for you to kind of uh, to to give me your opinion, really. Um, or just keep it to yourself, like uh, like all opinions should be. You know, just go fuck yourself. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, let's get into some more maybe actionable stuff over here. Um, so yesterday, uh, Bitcoin more or less played out the range that we're looking for on the daily range statistics and also the HPDR bands. Um, we can see that Bitcoin on the HPDR bands for CME is essentially playing between the 78.6 and the 61.8 le uh, level right here. Um, so that would suggest with the way that today's kind of positioned that if Bitcoin is going to continue on with this current rally, we probably would expect um, no closures still below 51,100. Again, wicks like yesterday below are fine. That's completely fine. Um, just don't want to see any closures below. Otherwise, that is going to be indicative of a greater correction coming, likely somewhere down around the median here, which is actually at 48,000 bucks as of right now. And um, to be fair, you know, there is some interesting things in the background that do suggest that that's certainly possible here. With the volatility contracting, we would expect um, price action to be, you know, coming, well, closer to closer to the median overall. But the thing is that the more that it goes sideways here, the more that that is naturally going to be pulled up. So it's kind of like a race against time, basically. The more the Bitcoin goes sideways here, the more this naturally gets pulled up. So if Bitcoin could spend maybe another like few days to a week here, then, well, it'll kiss it and then maybe game on again. Um, what does that mean for the overall uh, rest of the market? If Bitcoin's going sideways, which it has been for the past one, two, three, four uh, days, well, other things get a chance to rally. And that's exactly what we've seen. Ethereum is catching a bid, finally above 3,000. And, um, and, uh, and it does seem like a lot of altcoins are kind of uh, following in suit as well. So we are seeing that rotational market that we spoke about before. I do think that this is overall a very good sign um, from, you know, for the market uh, in terms of strength long term. Um, but, uh, but, you know, at some point you're going to see the fucking absolute trash coins rally like uh, <laughs> I almost called someone out there. Um, you're going to see some absolute trash rally, uh, and that's typically indicative of the, you know, of that segment ending before a nice, uh, a nice market-wide correction. Um, so I still wouldn't be calling, you know, corrections here for Bitcoin just yet, until you see closures on a daily time frame below 51. Um, Again, Wix below are fine. That's okay. It's no problem. In fact, if we go over here to the Oracle Pro, which we haven't referenced in a long time, um, I do want to very quickly look at uh, this indicator, the the oscillators, or sorry, the Oracle Pro. Oh, yeah, that, that one already uh, closed this trade. In fact, the four-hour time frame pretty much got the high thus far very, very well, actually. First take profit right there, second take profit right there. But we are seeing a secondary... Um, thing that I don't typically look at all that much, but it is present here on the full hour oscillators pro. We do see that nice green triangle in the bottom pane. Um, the last time that we've seen this in the past couple months here have actually been indicative of, of at least short-term rally attempts. So you can kind of see these um, on the screen right here. 
Anyways, I completely forgot to uh, completely with this one, but I should have mentioned it at the beginning of the video. Uh, Meta Signals has opened up their their NFT mint yet again. Um, it's limited. It's it's for a limited time, and it does give you lifetime access to their service. Again, this is a this is a project that I've personally invested in, that I'm an advisor in, and uh, and I do want to say that you know that is because I believe in it. I mean, you've, you've never heard me ever say those terms before ever. Like I've, I I mean, I because I haven't done that before. Um, but, uh, but if you're interested, I do have links in the description below. I'll actually be releasing later today, um, part one of an interview that I did with their founder, Nathan. Um, I think it'll kind of help, uh, you know, if, if you're interested to understand like what this is, what it's all about, what kind of what to expect. Um, and then in the coming days, we'll release part two and part three and go over more of like the granular stuff, like the signals themselves, the roadmap, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, Bitcoin again. Going sideways here is going to be considered bullish. Um, below 51,000 bucks, short term corrections do get uh, confirmed um, on a daily closing basis. Uh, pertinently speaking, somewhere down around like 48 ish um, as of the current moment, as this does chase up. But um, until 51,000 bucks is closed below, I mean, there's. It's not actionable. I mean, as, we, as we've been going over, uh, sideways here will, uh, especially if Bitcoin can hold sideways here um, for the next, let's say, um, I, would, I would still say like uh, five days to four, four, four days to a week, um, then that's probably going to imply continuation. Um, anyways, I think it's a good place for me to be leaving off. As always, I do want to wish you the best of best. Take care, much love, and see you hopefully tomorrow.